and a special thanks to the President of the United States of America. I think Handel's victory is going to leave a lot of Republicans breathing a sigh of relief. This is a terrible political moment for them. The president's ratings are in the 30s. It's a midterm environment, and the president's party always seems to do poorly in midterm elections. The fact that they can hold on in a district like this is going to leave a lot of Republicans in swing districts feeling like they have a pretty good chance to win re-election. Karen Handel is not an incumbent. She does not have a sort of built-in name advantage. And, favorable impression in the district. So there are a lot of Republicans that are in similar districts to Georgia's six who are going to feel like if she can win, then they can win. There might be some Democratic challengers who rethink whether they ought to run or not. And I'm sure that a lot of Democratic activists are going to be very disappointed um, by this victory. They've poured a lot of energy into this race, and they won't have another opportunity really to, to post a moral victory, I think, until next year's midterm election. This is the most expensive House race in history. John Ossoff has raised more money than any candidate. The Republicans have matched and more. This is the amount of money you'd raise for a Senate race in a medium-sized state like Massachusetts. And instead, it's playing out in one congressional district um, and over a very short period of time. Georgia's sixth is a well-educated, relatively white, wealthy suburban district north of Atlanta. It has voted Republican for a generation. Donald Trump won by just one and a half points, even though Mitt Romney won by 23. So there are a lot of Republican-leaning voters who have serious reservations about the president. The Democratic base sort of instinctively knew that if they were going to retake the House in 2018, it was the sort of place where they needed a win. They started pouring money in, and it quickly became a very competitive contest. And that dynamic has just reinforced itself at every stage. And we won't know the final turnout picture until we get all the final data in in a few weeks, but already the early voting data makes it clear uh, that a lot of new voters are participating in this race. No single race is a bellwether. Every district is different. The candidates are different. And look at how much money has been in this race. It's not going to happen again. I think that on the other side of the coin, though, the fact that this race is competitive is a real warning sign for the Republicans. Democrats need to be able to win districts like this in order to take the House. They don't need to win all of them. They need to win some of them. And the fact that they're competitive in a district like this, I think, indicates that they're going to be competitive in the types of districts that they need in order to retake the House next year.